Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Bobby Fischer and Jerry Gloga. This game was played in Ohio, United States, in 1964. Anything important happened to you in 1964? Bobby Fischer had white pieces and he started with b4, the Polish opening. J. Gloga played e5. Bishop to b2, attacking the pawn on e5, f6. If bishop takes on b4, bishop takes on e5, and we know that e pawn is more valuable than b pawn. f6, white to move. Perhaps a3 comes to mind, defending the pawn. Bobby Fischer played e4, sacrificing the pawn on b4. Bishop takes on b4, bishop to c4, knight to e7, queen to h5 check, knight to g6, white to move. Bobby Fischer played f4, sacrificing another pawn. Pawn takes pawn on f4, knight to f3, knight to c6, is better, white to black. Black is better materially. Two pawns. Knight to c3. Bishop takes on c3 before the knight jumps to d5. Bishop takes on c3, d6. Knight to h4. Knight to e7. It looks like that J. Gloga is holding his ground. Do you agree? White to move. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Maybe castling comes to mind? Bobby Fischer played knight to f5, attacking the pawn on g7, king to f8. If bishop takes on f5, then pawn takes bishop and white is winning. If knight takes on f5, queen takes knight. Back to our game. King to f8. And Bobby Fischer castled at king's side. Queen to e8. Why to move? How to make progress? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find the killer move? The killer move is bishop takes on f6. Black to move. Bishop takes on f5 was played. If pawn takes on f6, there is checkmate in one. The move is queen to h6 checkmate. Back to our game. Bishop takes on f5. Pawn takes bishop. d5. White to move. What is the best pair for the bishop? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Bobby Fischer played f takes on g6. Black to move. G takes on f6 was played. What happens if queen takes on g6? One line goes like this. Bishop takes on e7 check. King takes bishop. Queen takes on d5. Queen to d6. Rook from a to e1 check. King to d8. Queen takes on b7. Perhaps queen to b6 check. Queen takes queen. Pawn takes queen. Rook takes on f4 and white is winning. Back to our game. What else? If knight takes on g6, bishop takes on d5, pawn takes on f6, queen to h6 check, king to e7, rook from a to e1 check, and white is winning again. Back to our game. So in the game, Gloga played, pawn takes bishop, queen to h6 check, King to g8. White played the move and black resigned. The move is the obvious one. What is the obvious one? g7. Black resigned. One line goes like this. d takes on c4. Pawn takes rook queen. King takes queen. Queen takes on f6 check. King to g8. Rook from a to e1, pinning the knight. Unpinning. Queen takes queen. King takes queen. 
Rook takes on f4 check. King to e8. Rook from f to e4. King to f8. Rook takes on e7. And an extra rook on this level should be enough to win the game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.